Allie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great start to your day. I am leaving for Walt Disney World in my very, very near future, so I thought it would be fun to show you a video today on my packing essentials for Walt Disney World. This is not specific to Walt Disney World. Of course, you could use these at any theme park or at any outing, but like I said, I'm going to Walt Disney World very, very soon, so these are all the things that I think are essential and are necessary for my trip to Walt Disney World. If I miss anything at all, just let me know in the comments below so I can read them before I go on my trip, and if you have any other questions or concerns, just ask them in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. Let's get right into this video. So first and foremost, the most important thing that you need to remember to pack when you're going to Walt Disney World are your magic bands. These are literally gold when you're going to Walt Disney World. This is your ticket to the park, to the hotel, to your food, to your photos, basically to everything in Walt Disney World. Do not forget your magic bands. So the next thing to consider when going into the parks is photography. Now I am huge on pictures. This is probably one of my number one essentials in going into the park. So I always like to have two little forms of photography. I have my phone and then I have my camera. Now I will say last year I took my professional camera. It's my Canon EOS Rebel T5i. It's a pretty bulky camera. It takes amazing pictures, but I will say by the end of the week, my back and my neck was just killing me from lugging that around all, all week. So I ended up buying a new camera. This is the Canon G7X. It's a lot more compact. It's a lot easier to carry around and it's a lot lighter. And it takes really amazing pictures as well. So I would suggest bringing a camera that you're not gonna mind carrying around all week. I don't regret taking that last year because it take, took really awesome pictures, but like I said, my back was just killing me by the end of the week. So I find that this is gonna be a lot more essential in the parks. So this next one's going to seem obsessive, and this is where my crazy pants really comes out with full force. But like I said, I am just obsessed with pictures. I think it's an amazing way to make memories. Photos in Disney World are probably my favorite photos in the whole world. Everything is so vibrant. The colors are so full. But in the back of my mind, I'm always like, what if I drop my camera? What if I break my camera? What if I lose my camera? What if something happens to my SD card? So I always like to bring my laptop and every night after a day in the park, I like to take my SD card out of my camera and upload them into my iPhoto. Like I said, this is obsessive and this is probably not necessary, but it just makes me feel better. I like to know that every night I'm transferring all of my photos. So if God forbid something does happen to my camera, I have all of my photos backed up. Moving right along, the next thing I think is essential for Walt Disney World is an external charger. Now I try not to use my phone too much when I'm in Walt Disney World. I really only use it to call my parents, to take pictures, to upload the occasional picture, and to use the Disney Magical Experience app. But even with just using it for that little amount of time, any theme park really drains your battery. I A, try to keep my phone on airplane mode unless I'm going to be using it to kind of savor the battery. And B, like I said, any theme park is just going to drain your battery. So I found this little external charger on Amazon. I think it was $14. I used this the whole time I was in San Francisco. It works amazing. You basically charge it at night. You put your charger in here and the other part in here. You click it on and then it just charges as you go. So you don't have to just find an outlet and plug it into the outlet. You can kind of just take this and go. It's really, really tiny. It comes in this little carry-on case, which is really helpful. And you just put it in here, close it up, and then you're done. So I think this is really important if you're going to be using your phone a lot, especially if you have kids and you're going to be taking a lot of pictures, your battery's going to drain out. So try to look into an external charger. When I'm in the parks, I hate to be dragged down by anything heavy or bulky like a backpack. I like to only carry around lightweight things. I don't have kids yet, so I don't need to carry a ton of stuff when I'm with me. Like I said, I can get away with just bringing lightweight stuff. So the first thing that I like to carry into the park is A, my camera, like I already mentioned. It has the over-the-shoulder strap. It just hangs by my side, and I just grab it whenever I want to take a picture. And it has a nice little protective cover on it. And the next thing I like to bring into the park is my favorite clutch in the entire world. My friends got me this this year for my birthday. It is the Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Dooney and Burke, and it basically just has pictures of Cinderella's Castle, Belle's Rose, Tinkerbell, uh, teacups, it has Dumbo, Mickey, the ice cream bar. It just has a little bit of everything, but what I like about it is that it is large. It's not your typical wristlet that's only about this big. It's big enough to throw my phone and my chapstick and my hand sanitizer my license, my credit cards, any little tiny essentials that I can throw right in here. So these are the only two things that I like to bring in the park. I don't like to be dragged down. 
So the next array of things are basically for comfort and for health purposes. Some of these things I'll use before I go into the park, some of these things I'll bring into the park with me, and some of these things I'll just keep right at the hotel. And reigning in at number one is sunscreen and aloe vera. Do not forget the sunscreen or the aloe vera, especially if you're going in the summer months like I am. My friend just came back from Disney World and she said one of the days got up to like 105 degrees and although the heat never bothered me anyways, a sunburn definitely will bother me. So I like to bring this into the park with me. Adam, I think, is bringing a backpack. We'll just throw this right in the backpack. And I try to lather up every couple of hours because homegirls got a sunburn before and that is the last thing that I want when I'm at Disney World. So yeah, sunscreen and aloe vera. The next one I cannot suggest enough, it is Dr. Scholl's. I bought the Dr. Scholl's for her comfort insoles. I got these on Amazon, it was like $12.99 and I got a pack of three. I don't think I'm even gonna need a pack of three. I think one pack would be sufficient. You basically just take the insoles out of one, put them in your neck shoe, take them out again, put them in your neck shoe. They just come right out, but these are so crucial for a day at the park. You're gonna be on your feet all day. This is gonna absorb all of the shock and it's gonna just be very comforting on your feet. So I don't care if you're 90 pounds or you're 300 pounds, chances are you're going to be chafing when you're in Walt Disney World. It is very hot, you're walking around all day, you're sweating, your thighs are gonna be rubbing up against each other. So I really suggest the Body Glide Her Anti-Chafe and Moisturizing Balm. Basically you just take this, rub this up against your thighs, and then you will stop chafing for the whole day. This is really, really essential in my eyes. It might not be essential in your eyes, but like I said, it's easy to apply, long lasting, water resistant, and it stops chafing. Think about this if you're going to Walt Disney World. The next things that I think are essential to bring into the park with you, or even just to keep at the hotel just to have, are band-aids and our Kleenexes for obvious reasons. A moisturizing SPF chapstick. A travel size of medicine. Antibacterial lotion. Moleskin Plus, this is basically just a soft cotton padding that you can put on your blisters if you get blisters from your sneakers or your shoes. Air plugs if you're like me and you suffer from swimmer's air and you get air infections when you go into the water. And a poncho for those rainy days that are going to happen when you're in Walt Disney World. Whether or not you're doing the Disney dining plan, a way to save a buck or two in the parks is to bring your own snacks. You're allowed to bring any snacks into the park that you like as long as they're appropriate. So I am bringing some of my favorite flavors of the Quest protein bars. Now Adam and I actually are doing the Disney dining plan. We're doing the dining plan that is a table service, a quick service, and a snack per day. But we are a couple who loves to eat and that just might not be enough for us. It'll probably be enough for us. But just in case we get hungry throughout the day, we're bringing some little protein bars or granola bars or just little snacks to snack on to kind of fulfill our hunger until our next meal. Some beauty things to consider bringing is a loofah. I love these because I can just toss them at the end of the week. I got this for like $1.50 at Target. I'll use this the whole week and at the end of the week I'll just toss it right in the garbage. A heat protection spray as well as a detangler. I just got this in my FabFit Fun Box and I'm fortunate that it's an all-in-one so I don't have to worry about carrying too much stuff. A detangler is really important, especially if you're going in the pools with all that chlorine and anytime I use new water, even in the shower, my hair kind of doesn't react well to it. So a detangler is really important on my vacation as well as a heat protection spray. If I'm straightening my hair or curling my hair for the day, it kind of just protects everything that you need. <laughs> And big shout out to the subscriber who suggested the Ben Nye Final Seal Matte Makeup Sealer. She had wrote in one of my previous Disney videos that this is what the Disney princesses wear in Disney World to seal their face and to keep their makeup from running when they're in the parks. So I actually checked it out and all of the reviews, the first thing that they said was, this is what the Disney princesses wear in the park. So I actually checked it out, I tried it out, I put it on my face before I went out into the sun the other day and it really keeps your makeup intact. So I fully, fully suggest this. I think this was like $10 on Amazon and it's a huge size. This will last me for months upon months upon months. So if you're the type of person who's gonna wear makeup in the park and you're nervous that it's gonna start running, I highly suggest this. And the last essential thing that I would suggest for going to Walt Disney World goes back to my first tip and trick and it has to do with the souvenirs. Again, if you're a person who likes to get souvenirs and you know that you're gonna be buying a lot of souvenirs, I suggest one of these little reusable bags. They are extremely compact and then it just opens up into a brand new bag. So I can just throw this in my luggage and it opens up to a really big bag that I can throw a bunch of souvenirs in. And then if I don't have enough room in my luggage, I can always just use this as one of my carry-ons. 
And that's it. Those are all my traveling essentials to Walt Disney World. I hope you found this video to be beneficial. If you think that I missed anything really important, please write it in the comments below. Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you enjoy my videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. I would truly appreciate it. And as always, I love you guys so much and I'm truly, truly blessed for all of your love, support, and positivity on my channel. I hope you're having a magical day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!